So we're still on lesson four, which was in the previous video talking about uh, coming up with a plan for our personal web page. Uh, now we're on bubble two. I'm going to skip ahead to F here. And as I open up F, what F talks about is what's called a line break code. Now, this is one of the examples where uh, you don't need both an open tag and a closed tag for the line break. So what a line break does, you can go within a paragraph and you can basically just create one space of white space or one return line. So we can see this haiku poem right here. It's in a paragraph, meaning it's offset from itself. Here's our open paragraph tag, our closed paragraph tag. But what I'm going to do is come to the second line here and I'm going to type in our line break. And what you're going to see that does is it within that paragraph, it separates the line. So I can come down to the next line break. So it's just another way to organize yours. Um, now this is different again from that paragraph because a paragraph uh, separates it, but this separates it within the paragraph itself. Uh, it does work in other areas outside of paragraphs as well. So if we move on to our bubble uh, three, we're gonna see an A and a B in this. And what we're gonna do is learn how to create ordered and unordered lists. So if we can take here our breakfast foods, so we can see we have uh, our list here, our bulleted list of cereal, eggs, and waffles. Um, and they're asking us to create an order, an unordered list. So here, the coding for an unordered list is uh, UL, that's the open tag, and the closed tag is uh, the UL with the backslash in it. We have to identify list items within this. So each list item, the uh, open list tag and the closed list tag, identifies as it an item in that list, which gives it the bullet point. So if I come down here and I just say cake, ice cream, should be a cat, let's see, let's keep with the formatting, ice cream and pie. We're gonna notice it comes over here and each has, it's all strung together uh, because I haven't really done anything. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna set it up in the tag of the open, the unordered list. And then at my last item here, I wanna do a closed of my unordered list. So again, now I don't get that error, but they're still in the line because that's because I haven't identified them as a list item. So I'm gonna go open my list item and close my list item. And what you'll see, that puts the bullet point and separates it. I'm gonna do that for each of my items I would like in a list. We can see that becomes then uh, offset and bullet pointed. So that's how we use uh, the un, uh, order, an unordered list with list items to create those bullet point lists. If we move on, again, we're back here to create an ordered list. The difference on an ordered list, instead of a UL tag, I'm gonna create an OL tag. So there's my list items, there's my open list. Here's my closed ordered list. So, so again, ordered list OL. Again, I haven't identified list items, so we don't have anything that occurs. I just identified those words in my unordered or my ordered list. So I'm gonna identify my list items, open list tag, that item, and I'm gonna do my closed list item tag. And what you'll see is it offsets it now and it puts that number one by it. So if I continue going down, identifying my list items, you're gonna see that code then changes it to the number two. Oh, I, there we go. It changes it to the number two. And if I continue, 